I'm joined here at DevRelCon Prague with the wonderful Kevin Lewis. Thank you so much for joining. My pleasure. Um, we're doing a show here about developer relations origin stories, and I want to kick this off if you could please introduce us to yourself. Yes, so my name's Kevin Lewis, and I run developer relations at Directus. I've been doing DevRel about nine years and really excited to be part of this. Wonderful, thank you. Um, and of course, going into that origin story, I'm curious, how did you get started in developer relations? So right at the very beginning of my journey being a developer, I couldn't write any code and I was dragged along to a hackathon by a friend, kicking and screaming. I really didn't want to go because I couldn't write code. And while I didn't really meaningfully contribute that much, I had an amazing time at this event just because of the other attendees and the work of some developer advocates in attendance. I went away, taught myself to code. And at the beginning, I kind of used hackathons on weekends as a way to kind of learn new skills in a very time box fashion. Um, and I kept going to hackathons run by the same group over and over again then I started volunteering for them and eventually I ended up working there as an intern and that morphed into their first developer relations role and that was about nine years ago and since then so kind of came in through events um, and since then I've kind of run the gamut of developer relations from running events and community initiatives I ran a developer events agency for a couple of years education initiatives and also some engineering building integrations and helper libraries I love that. And I love that, that, you know, it's, it's, it's a journey that, you know, looks a little bit different for everybody, but there's like these, there's these little sprinkles of like similar happenstances that sort of spark yeah. that joy. And I, I, I love that. So thank you. And the best thing is I get to now go out and help other people the same way I was helped right at the very, very beginning when I couldn't even write code. Paying it forward. Yeah, yeah. totally. Thank you. Um, and to that point, you know, lots of folks are looking into finding that first developer relations role and, you know, getting lots of different pieces of advice. And, you know, I'm a big fan of doing so in a way that sort of captures that overall responsibility of like, you know, different circumstances for mm -hmm. different folks. I'm curious, do you have any advice for somebody who's looking into developer relations and they're finding that first role? Yeah, so I have two pieces of advice. The first is that developer relations is such a broad discipline. It can mean so many things. It can be more content and education focused, more community focused, more sales focused, more engineering focused, and very rarely will one role have all of these things, or at least they shouldn't. So really understand what it is you're interested in doing. And if you're coming in from being an engineer and trying to move into developer relations, there are roles, developer relations engineers, uh, where you can use your engineering skill and kind of ride on that merit uh, while getting into the world of developer relations. My second piece of advice with the recognition that not everyone has the privilege to do this is many people do developer relations responsibilities in their own time, whether it's running events, whether it's writing, whether it's building side projects and publishing them. Not everyone has the ability to do this, so that must be recognized. But if you do have the ability to do them, starting to do these activities makes it a lot easier to identify, be identified for jobs and identify jobs and then put your best foot forward when applying for them. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Kevin. No